Righto today guys, we're smoking up a plate of beef shorties on our Weber kettle. Should be a good one, let's get into it. All right, to start off, we're gonna take our beef ribs, get this out of the packet, and we're gonna do a tiny little bit of trimming. Uh, now these beef ribs didn't have a lot of trimming that we had to do. Just a couple of pieces of that, uh, you know, that silver skin in some places, and a couple of little pieces of the excess hard fat, right? You know, you know all about this if you've ever seen someone smoke a brisket, because we're gonna be treating these beef ribs like a brisket today. Now we're gonna turn it over. Now for the membrane on the back, I don't worry about taking the membrane, uh, the membrane off, sorry. Unless you're cooking competition barbecue, you really don't need to take it off. Just give it a crosshatch score and it'll be fine. Now for the binder, we're going a sriracha sauce. Uh, a little bit uh, non-traditional, I know, but I just find this sauce uh, helps the rub stick a lot better than, say, your olive oils. Now, speaking of rubs, this is our brand new, or should I say, our reinvented uh, Dark Temptations rub, which is a coffee-based rub which should be available within the next two weeks, fingers crossed, just depending on production time. So go ahead and get your ribs seasoned up. Now, of course, use your favorite barbecue rub. I would uh, recommend a, a beef friendly, like an S uh, SPG base or a coffee base rub. I find on beef goes absolutely beautiful. But again, use your favorite barbecue rub. Now, we're running our kettle at 107 degrees to start off. We're using Aussie Iron Buck as the smoke. And after about four and a half to five hours, these ribs have developed a nice bark. So we're gonna take them off, get them wrapped in butcher's paper, back onto our Weber kettle. And we're gonna open up those vents and get our temperature bumped up to about 120 degrees Celsius. Uh, to at which point we're just going to let them go until they probe tender. You've done brisket before. We're not really taking an internal temperature reading. I don't believe in it. It's all about feel. Once those bad boys probe tender, they are done. So we're going to take them off, rest them for about 40 minutes. And we're going to slice into them. And this is our finished product. Smoked beef shorties with an awesome bark. Have a look at that. Guys, if you've never smoked beef shorties, Put them on your menu, you won't regret it. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.